My next guest really should play the lottery. Tonight, Eric Norrie has got to be hands down the luckiest man in the world. Or is he? He survived a lightning strike and also survived being bitten by a snake, being punched several times by monkeys, and just a few days ago was attacked by a shark. Eric is now recovering at the Tampa General Hospital and joins me exclusively along with his wife, Spring. Eric, well, good to see you alive. First of all, how are you? I'm doing great. I'm feeling a lot better than I was a few days ago, I'll tell you that. Well, I bet. Now, you, you were spear fishing in the Bahamas with your wife, uh, your four daughters, and your father-in-law when you felt the shark bite your leg. Tell me what happened. Well, just like you said, I was spear fishing, and I felt this uh, tremendous, powerful crunch on my uh, calf. And when I looked back, I saw him ripping a piece away and swimming away with a piece in his mouth. And did you think that you, you, you'd had it? It was going to kill you? Or how were you feeling at that moment? You know, I, I'll, I'll tell you, to be honest with you, I believe with all my heart that God sustained me in that moment of time to give me no fear and no worry, no anxiety. And I flipped up to shore and I, and I, uh, I tied a tourniquet around my knee uh, to stop the bleeding and started calling for help. And uh, my daughter got on the um, radio and radio for help, and, and thank God there was a, a man close by by the name of uh, Mike Meldo that came and was able to get me to uh, a clinic pretty quick. Now, the bizarre thing about you is that this is not the first uh, brush with death. You've been struck by lightning in a storm in Florida when you were 10, bitten by a rattlesnake. We nearly lost a leg then and spent two weeks in intensive care, and punched by monkeys on more than one occasion. What is it with you and monkeys? I don't know. I just maybe I monkey around too much. I don't know. They they like me. I mean, you, I know you're a religious man, but do you think that God is acting on your side, saving you from death in these incidents, or is He picking you out for special attention? I think that He's He's continually challenging me to trust Him, which is what I believe that we all need to do through through hard times, through good times, through bad times. Uh, it's important to always trust God. Now let me let me turn to Spring, your wife. Spring, I mean, this must be a pretty long-suffering marriage you're going through. About every three minutes, he's being attacked by either a, a bolt of lightning or monkeys or sharks or snakes. There's no, no respite for you. Well, it's an adventuresome marriage. A lot of those things happened when he was younger. The monkeys um, are since I've been around, but... Um, the shark bite was quite a scare, that's for sure. Why do you think <laughs> monkeys dislike him so much? <laughs> well, one time was kind of my fault, actually. I, I sort of teased him into it. <laughs> she locked me in a cage with a violent monkey and watched it attack me and took pictures. <laughs> Matter of fact, we, we put the... <laughs> We, we put the pictures on our on our website, on my business's website, so people can see them. So let me give it absolutely <laughs> straight. Uh, let me give it straight, Spring. You locked your husband in a cage with an angry monkey, and when it punched him, you then put the pictures straight on Facebook. Is that, is that what I'm hearing? More or less. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> yes. But on a serious point, it must have been pretty scary for you, Spring, and, and your daughters when this, this shark made this attack on your husband. How are you feeling about it all? Um, it's still a lot to take in. Um, when I still really think about the actual day, it's pretty overwhelming to think about. Um, it was very scary. And as the water turned to blood and Eric crawling out of rocks, it was like a Discovery Channel show before my eyes, almost like it's hard to believe it's reality. And, and Eric, I mean, how, what is the prognosis for you with that leg? Is it all going to be okay? Are you going to be... Back to normal? I think so. I had a couple of skin grafts. Uh, I had one of the best doctors here at Tampa General, Dr. David Chesla, that worked on it. And uh, I think I'm going to be, uh, there's a verse that says, uh, I will walk and not grow weary, and I will run and not grow faint. I will mount up with wings like eagles. And I think that that's just what I'm going to do. Isaiah chapter 40. And you are actually, you're a thoroughly good chap. You do missionary work in Australia, and you're starting a shelter for the homeless. I mean, if the good Lord is watching tonight, and I'm sure he is, would you like him just to lay off you a bit for a while? Absolutely not. I want to keep going forward. I want to do what he wants me to do. And, uh, you know, we're doing some work in uh, the Dominican Republic. 
Uh, we're doing some work here in, in Pinellas County with the Dream Center, working with, with uh, we're trying to put together a drug rehabilitation center. And uh, we've got a lot of friends around the world in Papua New Guinea with Samaritan Aviation that are doing great things. And my buddy Thomas Dickerson that, that uh, was with Calling All the Nations who sang that cool song that's on YouTube. <laughs> and uh, just trying to do what we can. And playing the lottery? No, I don't play the lottery. I don't play the play the lottery. Dishonest <laughs> gain is an abomination to the Lord. <laughs> well, there's a few abominations that the Lord's been sending your way, but I admire your faith, and I wish you all the very best. Eric and Spring, thank you very much for joining me. Thank okay, you. thank you. I'll Have talk to you again night. after the, the next time a monkey beats you up. <laughs> all right, <laughs> wonderful. <laughs> Good to thank talk you. to you. Good Thanks night. for joining me.